Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the weird way that I brush my hair. So I'm not much of a brush person. It's typically my fingers, wide tooth comb, though I do really love and use the Tangle Teaser. But it's because of the Tangle Teaser brush that I've actually discovered a way of using all of my other brushes that is effective, it doesn't rip out my hair or unnecessary hairs, and it smooths and glides through my type four hair a lot easier. So I've just separated my hair into sections. I've got it saturated in conditioner. Um, I've been deep conditioning for the past 20 minutes or so. Um, and yeah, that's when I like to use a comb. Typically I'll use my fingers before I wash my hair. Um, but if I feel like I need something thorough, that's when I go in with a brush or a tool of some kind. I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna just split this off into slightly more manageable sections as well. Just clip this out of the way. So this is the original Tangle Teaser. I've had this for years now. I want and need to upgrade to the Thick and Curly, it used to be called the Afro Tangle Teaser, which has longer, longer teeth. But I've just had this for years and I bought it before that one came out. So yeah, I still feel like this works quite well for me. If you see how I hold the Tangle Teaser or how it's shaped to the palm of your hand, all of the teeth are like downwards like this. And as such, I don't go in like this. I end up going down like so. Start at the ends. Work my way up. I know it sounds like it's ripping, but it's really not. <laughs> and see, look at that. After like, what, what was that? Three passes? My hair is all detangled and that's all the shed hair that it's got out. So it's all glided through, detangled, simple pimple. So I'll just quickly knot this section up so I can show you again with a different brush. And in fact, I'm going to, I'm gonna just, just for YouTube, I'm going to use a brush in the typical way um, we would use a brush or you see people using a brush so I can show you what difference it makes. So this is the wet brush, original wet brush. Sorry, I do already have a couple of hairs in there, but you know, that just shows you I do use this stuff. So original wet brush, and I imagine or suspect people typically brush their hair like this. So you can see it's like catching and I don't know, it's just taking a lot longer to detangle through that bottom section. Number one, then my Tangle Teaser, which is why I love the Tangle Teaser, but also I just think it's the direction of it. So if I turn it now, almost like a mirror, and I hold it this way instead, and work through my hair. Excuse me, look at that. And work through it, what? Look at that. Did you see how it was going before? It, it just couldn't get through it when it was this way. The minute I turn it on itself and brush it downwards like this, so easy, so simple, and that's why I brush my hair in this direction, almost like in a Disney movie, like this, as opposed to turning my brush this way. This is the Dunman brush, I've modified it. Um, I modified it. I can't remember what one this is. D3, maybe. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below for you, but I just took a couple of rows out of there. I do wish that I had a wider Denman brush because this is a lot thinner than my Tangle Teaser and my wet brush. So there isn't much surface area. And so for that reason, I have uh, pulled out a smaller section to work with. So again, if I do it this way, it's just, it's just a nightmare waiting to happen. It does not want to go through. I'll be here for hours and I will be upset afterwards because I'll have combed myself bald. So I turn it this way. 
Wham bam, thank you ma'am. And my hair is in the entire brush, so the whole thing is being detangled. Look at that. And just a couple of them. Detangled, detangled. <laughs> if you were to say each of these, each of my fingers was a hair strand, it's coily down like this, right? So why am I going against the grain and trying to catch through all of them? Why don't I get the comb down like that rather than trying to get across it like this? It just seems to work a lot easier. And the last one I'm gonna show you is not a brush. It is a pick, Afro pick. Um, I thought I'd show you this just because the teeth are closer together. Um, so naturally, again, of course, when you are, you know, you want volume, of course you pick it like this. And you know, you might wanna go through the ends and usually I don't have trouble with an Afro pick. But I also noticed if anyone watched that documentary on the Chevet powder, a um, really interesting documentary in general, just to see how um, different cultures care for their hair. But I really liked seeing how the lady was using the Afro pick or something similar to the Afro pick to apply the powder, she was, again, she was doing it in this downward motion rather than jutting it through, through the hair. I'm kind of gliding it at an angle as opposed to just shoving it straight through my hair. And then I can comb it at the ends. This is not painful painful at all so it might be worth trying this method if you or your children siblings etc are more tender-headed look at that so I'm doing it at an angle pulling it through and it's detangled can go through now there you go that's how much hair came out in that see that hardly anything came out in that section. That is it. That's all I've lost. So yeah, that is the weird way I like to brush my hair and it's really effective. And no, my hair does not get knotted up throughout the week. That is it. It's a really smooth detangle, only taking out the shed hairs that it's supposed to take out, not popping popping and locking all of my other strands. So do give this method a try if you've never tried it before. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!